welcome everyone in our youtube channel alexis project and today we will see a new hardware setup title name is wireless co char charging coil fault detection systems okay so here's a model you can see okay here is the main uh, uh, wireless charging setup okay and here is the car to detect the faulty coil okay so let's see so let's see each and every components one by one this is the charging coil okay you can see fault detector car you can see okay and it has multiple components you can see this is a lcd and it is responsible to display the location and uh, coil voltage okay on the screen okay and this is the main switch to turn on and off the entire car car, car system okay and this is the test button okay if you want to test the coil just press this button and our system will test the coil okay and after testing it will check either the coil is working or not and then it will send the sms okay here's the gps module you can see it is removable you can see okay it is gps uh, module neo 6m module here it is also removable okay and it is responsible to the show the live location of the car here is the gcm module you can see okay cmate and it, it has film side inside you can see okay it is also removed for study purpose or maintenance purpose you can say here is an led here okay to uh, to see visually either the coil is working or not okay and here is a battery to responsible to run this car okay and on back side you can see his one charging coil here okay and this coil is responsible to detect the primary coil current voltage okay and here is the charging model of the battery and here is the led on and off switch okay and these are the bow motors okay now let's see the back side of this uh, wireless charging uh, setup so you can see here is four back coils here okay one two three and four and here is the main of uh, frequency generation circuit and here is the switches of all each coils okay and these are uh, four switches are uh, responsible to turn on of the respective coil for the testing purpose okay you can see one two three four okay also we can charge the bed this battery remote battery using this uh, tap c connector you can see here okay and car is running using this battery so for testing purpose first we need to turn on this coil okay this car okay and need to connect to both these modules okay so let's turn on using the main switch here is the main switch okay so i have to press the switch you can see as it is showing system is initializing and system it is showing ready okay you can see a gsm module is finding the network and also this gps connected the module is not connected okay so let's we are waiting for the gps connection so that it should connect to the network okay after remember after the gsm proper connection it will blink after 5 seconds okay once okay you can see gsm module is connected and it is blinking after 5 seconds and uh, G gps module is still, uh, waiting for to connect so you can see after some moment you can see gps is connected also gsm uh, cmate and ndl is connected to the network okay and you can see on the screen latitude and latitude longitude of our uh, location uh, using this gsm motor we will move the car forward and backward okay and remember all these points so one two three and four have coil below this okay so let's uh, put the car to the wireless charging setup okay currently okay we will turn off all the points okay so just below this okay here is the coil okay below this side okay so uh, this is the spot one this is the spot two currently car is standing on the spot two this is the spot three this is the spot four okay so let's uh, turn on spot one and we will keep it uh, turn on spot two okay and we will left the turn on uh, spot three off and we will turn on spot four okay so you can see i have turned on spot two so that's why it is glowing okay and now let's test either the coil of this below side is working or not okay visually we can see using this led but we have officially tested the coil using this button okay so let's press this button so it is showing voltage is okay okay coil is okay and voltage is 5.60 okay it is showing car coil is okay okay why because you can see the led is glowing okay so now let's move the car to the spot 3 okay spot 3 is here okay so i am moving the car to the spot 3 okay so car is just 3 to just above the spot 3 okay now we will check the car coil okay is working or not okay so i am going to press this button so you can see coil voltage was uh, faulty that's why it is showing sms is sent to the respective device okay okay again we will press the button because uh, we didn't see it properly okay so let's press the button 
you can see word coil is faulty and sms has sent with the location of the coil okay so okay then that's my this it means the coil number three is faulty why because we have left the coil number three off okay for the testing purpose okay that's why you can see our LED is also not glowing it means the coil number three is faulty okay let's again move the car to the spot four okay remember spot four is on okay you can see spot four is on okay so let's move the car forward to the spot four so you can see spot four is working but uh, officially we check the car using the switch okay so let's press the switch so it's ensuring coil is okay voltage is 5.61 okay and our system didn't send any kind of SMS with the location again we will press the but test button so you can see voltage is 5.65 and coil is okay okay let's again move the car to the spot 3 okay oh, spot 3 let's check it is off for testing purpose okay it is off for testing purpose and again we will send okay uh, the button uh, we will test press the button for testing purpose so you can see faulty coil detected sms sent successfully with the coil location okay so you can see sms is issued on this device okay you can see this sms is issued i just now so let's click on the link okay so it is opening the google map location you can see and this is my current location okay of the coil faulty coil location here you can see okay map is loading now this is the google map okay so let's uh, move backward again to the sms section okay and now let's uh, move, move the coil to the spot one okay spot one and two is both is working okay so let's uh, break, bring the car to forward to the spot two using this button you can see spot two, two is working okay let's uh, spot one is also working we will test it Either the car is detecting or not. See, spot one is also working. Spot two is also working. Spot three is off. Okay, you can see spot three is off. Okay, let's press the button and we will check the coil location. Okay, so you can see coil faulty detected. SMS sent successfully with the coil location. Okay, you can see again SMS we received here. Okay, this one. Okay, so you can see again it is showing the same location. Okay, coil location is here. Okay, it means our project is working so fine. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. And after this session, we will see the backside wiring of this model. The backside wiring of the car. So I am going to turn off. Okay, and here is our car. And here is the backside wiring. You can see here is our main coil detection car. Okay, uh, this uh, coil detects the primary winding okay is working or not okay this is the lcd section this is the arduino nano and this is the rectifier okay this is the boy bo motors for the moment okay and here is the uh, battery charging circuit okay i need to showing the battery percentage and this is the coil on off button okay if you don't want to see the uh, led glowing so you can turn off the coil okay using this button okay and now time to see the back side of this section okay you can see there are four coils one two three four okay and here is our frequency generation section this is the switches okay and this is the coils are used to sorry these capacitors are used to enhance the efficiency of this coil okay and here is the inductor to produce the uh unstable frequency uh circuit okay also you can rotate we can rotate this system okay for the easy carry purpose okay you can see okay this is rotatable because the structure is long so that's why we designed in this way Okay, thank you so much for watching this video.